What you got there? There's water. It's very disappointing, Corbin. And the blood of my enemies. That's more like it. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. <gasps> Thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon. Follow us Twitter account, subscribe, and hit the like button. Mm. And welcome back. And you're probably wondering, why are you on on uh, Zoom? We weren't filming today, but we wanted to get to this so we can get to, I want to get to as many spooky movies as I can, so I want to get these out of the way. Uh, and so we weren't filming today. Uh, but we did watch. We are doing a movie review. Technically, we're doing four movie reviews. Yes. Four short film reviews. <laughs> One anthology, four short films. Yes. Uh, but uh, we, we are finishing the uh, anthology uh, series, if you will. Yeah. Of, of from we, If you haven't seen it, we've reviewed Bombay Talkies. We did a watch along of... No, we didn't. No, we did a watch along of Bombay Talkies. We reviewed Lust Stories. Yes. Uh, and Lust Stories too, obviously, but uh, in terms of yeah. the, the same directors, and now we are finishing with Ghost Stories. And we 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 didn't do it then because we wanted to save it for Spooky Month because we thought it might be a good um, uh, spooky theme, obviously, for, for October. Yes. So uh, this came out in 2020 uh, while we were already doing the channel, so missed I it, know. clearly. Um, but... Uh, so if you haven't watched it, please go watch this on Netflix. This is going to be a 100% spoiler review. We're going to go over each one individually, right? As opposed to... Yeah. And then uh, we can uh, talk about it. Well, I mean, we can point. we can give a synopsis of all four at the front as an over just view of what we right. thought. So what what did, what are your initial thoughts, overall thoughts of Ghost Stories? Overall thoughts are there's a couple of hits, a couple of misses. I think that this is very good for somebody who is diving into horror for the very first time. Um, so when we get into it, I'll talk about the things that I thought hit, and the things that I thought missed, because it's pretty equal in my opinion. But overall, I think uh, that was my big takeaway, was that if, you're, if you've watched a lot of horror films, I don't think there's anything in this that's going to particularly be um, overly not scary or, or even uh, spectacularly original per se. But uh, it, it, I was actually impressed with a couple of people's attempts mm -hmm. of the directors. Um, so for a genre that's not done very often in India. Yeah, in India, for sure. Yeah. So first and foremost, it's going to be Zoya's. Yes. Uh, which what did you uh, think of it overall? The uh, I I really enjoyed it actually overall. But we'll we'll get into uh, all of them. Um, I thought, even though once again, it's not gonna i think particularly scare you but i think some of these are probably some of the most scary things we've seen from india um that's not saying much i mean because we haven't really seen anything that's right i've been scared of yeah <laughs> but, no and that uh, stupid baby is no scary i i've been posting stuff on my instagram about horror recommendations this month and i've done a couple of them and the amount of feedback i'm getting they the stupid babies who know horror they, they know horror yeah. Um, but for India specifically, um, I think I, I was actually really encouraged by um, all of it because I think they just choose not to do it. Right. They can do it. They just don't. <laughs> and so, like, you can you have the directors that 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 can do horror, but you just choose to not do horror uh, or you just choose, obviously, the more commercial route, which is fine. I don't I don't need horror to be scary. I just need to be spooky. This is the spooky right. time, spooky which is time. which is what I tried to explain to people, because I think a lot of people when they think horror has to scare you. I've actually I've seen uh, I did a lot of deep dive last year into a lot of the horrors last year. I mean, not last year of like just classic horror because it's a genre I've missed. I've still not really ever been scared of anything. And I've seen a lot of the the big classics. Um, and so I, 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 I think that's a overrated element of horror is, I mean, I know like, I'm sure there are, I'm sure fil films that will scare me, uh, eventually, but I, I think overwhelming people don't 
get scared. They just get that feeling that that nice, spooky kind of eerie feeling, which I look for in um, Halloween month in particular. But yeah, one of the one of the movies that I don't consider a lot of people mm-hmm. don't talk about. I think you'll agree with me because I know you've seen this film. I recommended this film as a horror film because I think it fits into the Hitchcockian style of mind creep, uh, which was The Lighthouse. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I it's, it's, it's horror adjacent month, for sure. Right? It's a nice spooky month. Uh, yeah. Really smart, really odd. Um, it's very Hitchcockian. So Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's start with Zoya's. Obviously, we're going to yes. go in chronological order. I believe it was Zoya Anurag, yes. um, de, uh, de, de Bak- de Bakker, right? yeah, Dibakar uh, Banerjee, yeah, Banerjee, and then it was uh, Karen Johar to finish right. it out. Right. So, Zoya's, what were your uh, thoughts of uh, Zoya Akhtar's short here, Rick? I thought mostly good. I, I the cinematography was beautiful. Um, I, I really liked it, just hit all all the right elements for me as far as the spookiness of it. I could feel the payoff coming in the end, but I still liked the payoff in the end. Mm -hmm. I I, I was encouraged when I watched the first one. I kind of went, all right, that's a really nice start to get this off. Good job, Zoya. I'd like to see you do more horror films. (laughs) That's exactly what I was saying. And I was like, you have the people. Yeah. And they are, they can write horror. Yeah. Just let them. And execute it. Yeah, just let yeah. them let them write horror and do horror. I feel, India, I feel deserves good horror films. Like, and obviously these were on a much smaller scale. Um, but I, 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 I enjoyed this one as well. This was a um, the cinematography and the production design and the lighting were were brilliant. Beautiful, um, yes. It set the vibe immediately, and so that was that was really nice. Um, our um, uh, with the actors in it. Um, uh, j- yeah. John John V John V is that how you pronounce it? Never seen an H and a V yeah. next to each other very often. Yeah, I I, I think it's John V. John V, who yeah. we've seen uh, before, um, uh, in in some other things. But uh, I thought she did a very good job. I enjoyed her, and we also had a dose in there in VJ Varma's character mm-hmm. uh, just for 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 a little bit. Um, and you you kind of you kind of knew where it was going, and like like nothing. Nothing groundbreaking, a, a creepy old lady, right? Uh, there, but it was it was nicely creepy. Like you said, I haven't seen this enough in Indian cinema to be like to be um, overlooking it as uh, oh, I've seen this before. Yeah, I've seen it in Hollywood before. I haven't really seen these kind of things in Indian cinema, and no. so when I see it, I'm like, this is great do more of this even if it's Mm -hmm. kind of a rehash of a bunch of stuff hollywood has done before i i you just you need to start somewhere start exploring start the genre not just raw like raw even though we love these romance horror this is the bother a lot or comedy horror those are the two main elements of horror that india explores a lot but this one uh i i thought it was creepy enough uh, I the end shot was wonderful. Was I, yeah. Like it, you knew nice obviously it was coming, and when she you saw her once again spoilers. These are hundred percent spoilers. Please go watch the the this anthology. When you see her looking, and then you see down, and then that end shot of her just crawling was great. Mm-hmm. Was I great. loved that. Uh, I did too. I really enjoyed that part. Yeah, and I think we've mentioned this before. One of the reasons that horror is not greenlit a lot and made a lot is because they're looking for films they're going to make as much money as possible therefore they want it to be as family friendly as possible because that means more butts and seats and that means more dollars made Mm -hmm. so it's gonna Uh, be a hard it's hard nut to crack did you did you um pick up on the whole twist early on not early on no i was waiting for the payoff and i like as you know i like to stay I don't do it consciously, but I like that I can stay ignorant for a while and not try to second guess. Mm. But I don't remember at what point the other proverbial shoe dropped for me, but there was a point when I realized, oh, I know what's going on because this is a ghost story. So we'll get the payoff here at the end. But it's even even still, I enjoyed the payoff. Hold on. No, okay. I was like, I was trying to think, was it the only ghost? It definitely wasn't the only ghost story in um in the entire anthology there's obviously oh yeah no 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 Kieran's but i was no um 
it was interesting because they they once you go back and you think about it they gave you lots of clues as to especially the smell part the fact that she's been in there for i think they said three days in the end three right? days yeah um which is great um i they just Zoe is just a, a fantastic director. She's a fantastic director of actors. And so yes. um, even though it was like this kind of, it might've been the most simple concept of the anthologies, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Like in terms of just simple thought in execution, I think the other ones probably had a lot more complexity in terms of like what they were yeah. going to try to achieve, obviously, yeah. especially especially certain ones. Um, This one was a, a, a pretty simple story but i liked it i i I, did. I i especially enjoyed the um the tone in the setting that that zoya created yeah and simplicity for me is the hallmark of great horror some of the greatest horror films of all time are simple the exorcist is scary because it's just taking place in a girl's bedroom the shining is scary because it's just three people in a hotel psycho is scary because it's just two people at a hotel so some of the, you know, the greatest classic things are just really simple, intimate, one-on-one -on -one or maybe three people stories. So, yeah. Yeah. And it was interesting, the fact that they, um, they gave that little, I uh, made her character because you thought she was just this good person. Then you find out her love interest is a married man. Yeah. Uh, but obviously I think the the ghost was trying to communicate with mm -hmm. her mm -hmm. about that specifically yeah, yeah. Uh, not not throwing your life away and and um all that kind of stuff so that was just an injury like when you found out when she was giving her a sponge bath and then she i was like one that's unprofessional i don't think you should do that <laughs> you're on the job ma'am um but when they gave her that kind of complexity to it uh i thought it was really nice i i enjoyed this short yeah i did I too it was nice uh next one was uh on your rogs on your rogs dosty of dosts and hold on let me go to my brain cell here. Not that one. Not that one. It was. Oh, yeah, this one. Um, what did you think of Anyarag short here? Um, I. I loved it. I, it, I as much as I like Zoya's Anyarag's was my favorite. I loved how everything was so muted. It was almost black and white, but it wasn't black and white. Um, I I loved it. Is the is the correct pronunciation of her name shobita is it uh it, it it very well could be obviously i'm not the one i want to believe it is shobita um we've obviously seen her work before and really enjoyed her i've called her sorbita I, but that's probably wrong yeah yeah I, I she did what someone needs to do in that is carry it and i i there were moments where i found myself not just appreciating his production design and his cinematography and the story but it was so emblematically creepy and dark that at points I went, dang, well, now we're getting into it. This is legit horror, freaky weirdness, man. I loved it. Yeah, I did. Uh, right when it was over, <laughs> I texted Anirag and I said, that was fucked up, man. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, was like, that was... Idiot. No, Did yeah, he, he, he didn't. He, he didn't. He, he didn't. Hasn't it. He, he hasn't even responded. <laughs> but, oh, okay. Um, it was just. <laughs> I was. I was so like. I love. Holy it. shit! What I did you it. just do here on your own? Yeah, I literally uh, at one point watching it. I loudly. I watched it. I went, "Damn, boy is doing it." This is this is some fucked up shit. <laughs> uh, this one obviously uh, is a, a very powerful message, and the 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 imagery that he created with this That's so good was so warped and beautifully warped and just so creepy and weird and sad and so many different emotions but yeah i it was very very much uh reminded me without it, it was not copying it was not stealing that's why i'm not saying that but it had the same weirdness to me that i remember watching black swan and going damn oh, yeah. i didn't expect this to do that what is going on in a great way in a great way yeah, the one thing I didn't understand, maybe you caught up on it, but I, I even talked to Steph, and she's usually the one that picks up on everything, and uh, she didn't know. Why was the husband always looking at her, like like the the guy that come to pick up the kid? Why was he always looking, and he never acknowledged him? 
And he never, she never acknowledged him. No, the Sorbito's husband. Yeah. Anytime the, uh, I, I think it was Sorbita's brother. Oh, I think she watched him. Right. Like, why was kid. the husband? Yeah. Why was the, the husband? The husband always weird, not acknowledging anybody else. Was he even yes. there? Maybe. I don't... No, he he was. I, I I he was there. Um, it it had to do with there was something that's mentioned and alluded to, and it had to do with, um. I forgot the thing that was mentioned in the scene, but it had to do with something specifically that the husband is jealous of. Um, and I, I, I think it had to do with a pettiness of jealousness with him having a kid. I don't rem I don't remember it specifically. I wish I had written it down. Um, I'm looking at my notes because I don't but they did I mention don't it. Think I, yeah, it was subtle. Okay. It was really subtle. Because I just, I, I, was, I was wondering at the end, I was like, was, okay, is he even real? Like, is he there? Is he a ghost? Yeah, no, it was, it was a justifiable jealousy he had that had to do with the connection that the brother had with his wife that he doesn't have. Okay. And I, I yeah, forgot I, the specificity of the moment. It was very intelligently done, but it was justified. But like, he kept you guessing for, for a lot of it. And then when, it, oh, yeah. when the floodgates opened... I was like, oh my God. And then that final when when the husband comes in the room and she is there like eating eating the fetus. And I was like, oh my God, what the fuck is going on? So good. <laughs> it was so creepy. Probably the creepiest thing I've seen in Indian cinema. Uh, I think. Like in turn, like I said, there hasn't been like there hasn't been a lot of scary stuff, but no. in terms of like just the creep, some of the creepiest stuff I've seen yeah, was probably a lot of it was probably in this anthology series, but especially on your rugs. Um, he he just went no holds bar in this one, man. That was yeah. On your rug, if for some reason you see this or hear this, please do a full length feature horror film, please. Uh, it'll just be another in the line of your theatrical flops. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he really but, he really would do well. Oh yeah, I wish I would. Man, the or go to Malayalam and direct one in Malayalam or something like that. Let uh, do it somewhere because he. I mean, he has the skill to do whatever. He's such a talented writer, and that's where I. Yeah. I, I think that's where horror starts, and that's where great horror is. Is, is. in the writing. Um, can you can create a creepy, compelling story? Yes. Um, and so. The and Sorbita did a phenomenal job. I thought the kid actually did a really good job. I enjoyed. Agreed. Him. He was it was, yeah. The, and he was when young he, when he was scribbling on her stomach, and I was like, "What?" Yeah, because there was almost like a. I don't know if he was. I I can't. Do you have an overall overall thing that you think this meant this this short meant? Uh, no, I don't. I didn't feel like it had a particular. Here's the moral to the story, as it were, as much as it was just do you, representative. Do you, do you know what happened, though? Yeah, like in goes, terms of like what it, her, it goes back to a childhood trauma for her uh -huh. that call it a curse, call it negative energy, call it karma in some way. And there's something about the connectivity of the supernatural element of it with her child having almost the same type of power of like a carry to be able to invoke pain on someone voodoo style simply kinetically or, or psychically because he was de definitely causing her pain yeah with and then, what and then he at the wanted end, done to her then at the end he was like and now she will only be mine Right, so but then the I, whole the whole bird coming. Yeah, out, and that's why great. I thought it was just going to be about the kid and maybe the kid's capacity to have this kind of power, but he actually becomes secondary when you get toward the payoff at the end, and it becomes far more about a woundedness that she has had and why she feels this prophetic link between the the birds she has to feed and the baby in her womb, and if she's not taking care of that bird up there then her own child is going to be born. And it's linked back to trauma she had from her own mother as a little girl. So I think if there's any takeaway from this, it's about how the traumas of generations 
can impact us if there isn't healing brought to it if there if there's a message there yeah yeah uh so yeah i i, I really enjoyed this one this one was so great. this was my favorite yeah so so great um the next one is dip dip yeah dibicard energy uh who if you remember in bombay uh, yep. talkies, had uh the noise one uh which was uh our favorite and i which yes. one did he have in love stories was it the affair one was that his? It was the one with uh, VJ Varma, wasn't what? it? No, you're thinking of Lost Stories too. Oh, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. No, I'm talking in the first Lost Stories, the one the where uh, she was cheating on her husband with her best friend, the the best friend. Yes. And they had that whole scene in the house. Was that his? I think so. Okay. I think so. Uh, okay. Uh, well, because. Radhika's was on your Ogs. Kieran's was the vibrator one. And right. It was that one. And then which one did Zoya have? I don't remember. I don't remember Zoya's either. Regardless, he was uh, in Bombay. He was uh, obviously had the Nawaz one, which was our favorite in Bombay Takis. All uh, my stars. By far. Um, what did you think of his in this one, Rick? I loved how it started. Mm -hmm. um, and you don't typically great. love zombie. No, great sound design. And I, I loved how it started, but and the kids were doing a great job. However, it got a little off kilter for me, and the moral to the story, as it were, became pretty simplistic and heavy-handed. Um, I didn't I I'm not a fan of the zombie story because they typically are just kind of boring and it's the same trope repeated over and over and over again. Um, so I, I, I didn't think there were justifications for certain things like our main zombie who kind of resembled more of like a caveman Sasquatch thing, um, going from so definitively terrifyingly animalistic to a more casual comprehending creature that just didn't seem justified to me. Uh, and the ending payoff, I just, the whole small town, big town was, I, I could have done without that. Yeah, like the the class issue, basically. Yeah, the whole village and the city issue was just. It was like, I would have much preferred it just being a survival story with these insanely vicious zombies that were unstoppable. And how are they going to survive? Yeah, I, I, I didn't loved, know. How I loved the moment where he ate the girl and they had to be still. That's my yeah. favorite part of it. That was a oh, great moment. I just wish he didn't great. look like a creature from Land of the Lost. <laughs> yeah, the uh, I I was I was curious to see how what you thought about this because I know you, zombies are not your your yeah. favorite. I don't I don't mind zombies. I love a good zombie story. Oh. Um, I I enjoyed this one. Um, and, and yes, I've seen I, for I, anyone wondering, I've seen Train to Busan, and that's a good zombie story. Oh, I've actually never seen that one. Yeah, it's a so, Korean right. film. That's actually a very very good zombie. I should story. Watch, I should watch that one. Yeah. Um, I I enjoyed this one, but I I got really. I didn't love the ending. Yeah. Just like just like you, because I was actually very nervous that they were just gonna make it a dream uh for a uh, second. Which which actually right, which kinda it, kinda it kinda is. was, kinda, yeah. but not real. I mean they they kind of brought it a little together that it it was a dream, but it wasn't as well. Uh right. kind of one of those things. But I I I think I agree. I, I would have wished it be just um I think the strongest parts were for sure. Uh, when you didn't see what was outside. I was actually looking, I was like, are we just going to do this all from the inside and the monster, you never actually see the monster, oh, which I, I, I thought would have been a, a great concept because, you know, it happens in horrors all the time. You don't ever see the actual proverbial monster jaws. You don't really actually see the shark until, you know, very later on. And it's a, a very bad shark. Uh, right. <laughs> by today's no, standards. What you don't see is always scary. Uh, so I, I, I I, I do wish it would have. I think that would have been better. I didn't yeah. hate it because uh, I actually didn't mind the um, you know, when it when it went to the zombies. I was like, okay, cool, we're getting we're getting a zombie story. Um, which you don't get a lot of these alien slash zombie right. kind of a quiet place style um, movies out of India. You, I mean, there's this is probably the closest one I've seen of that vibe. Yeah, this is this is kind of a mix between the two of of alien slash 
zombie slash whatever whatever the explanation for this was yeah. i didn't hate i didn't hate the ending because i was like okay obviously there's some messaging that you wanted to cross and and all that i do agree it was heavy-handed for sure um in the end that maybe it could have been done a little better but i i, I applaud the attempt uh at yeah the style, it gets an the, a for effort it really does the, the only time the only other zombie thing I uh, we've seen is go go gone. Uh, that's the only, and that was a long time ago, and that was comedy zombie. Right. Um, I we've not seen another, uh, to my knowledge, right? In, no. in anything, we've not seen. No, the closest other alien one's going to be the LGP film, right? Yeah, the 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 cheery or whatever the the no. the, the in the forest. No, the other right? the other horror films are either ghosts or witches or spirits. Yeah, yeah. So the fact that it, it was trying something that to my knowledge, is not really tried Agreed. at all. A for and effort, it, and it had some good moments. Uh, I think I'd overall give it more of a, um, maybe a B minus overall. Me, me too, um, me too. But I, I think it was a, it was, it was a, fair, a fair attempt, and I, I enjoyed it. Um, whether it was my least fair, I haven't actually uh, ranked them. I should, have, I should have tried to do that already but um i i thought he did a, a, a good he's a very good director he's had a very strong in this entire anthology mm -hmm. i mean he gave if i i don't even know like if you had to rank the entire anthology of your favorite short from all of them mm -hmm. would it still be noise yeah over kieran johar because i think our favorite was in lust i love that one that that's a kieran very johar. close second very close and second then, well, obviously, uh, whatever one you pick for your your favorite in this one, but would you, you think Nawaz would probably still be your top if you had to rank every single one in the entire anthology? It's so elevated, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I just it's just so it's just such good film. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, so let's get on to the last one here, which was yeah, uh, Kier, Kieran Johars, uh, which once again I said in the Lust Stories first one was our favorite of uh, the entire anthology, and that one that was. That's probably my favorite overall thing Kieran Johar's ever created. Ever done. <laughs> uh, I, I love that entire show, even though I love Rocky Ryan yeah. as well. But um, that whole thing was amazing. What do you think of Kieran Johar's uh, ghost stories? Well, the first thing was I just had I laughed when it started, and I went, "He can't help himself. He's just, just a different make vibe. It romance. <laughs> it's got to be romance." And I right at first I was loving that. <laughs> what did you say at first? At first I was loving. I was like, okay. Do your romance thing, man. That is your wheelhouse. However, as it as it moved on, what it felt like to me was when the idea was first thought of and we're doing these anthologies, it was kind of like either he or somebody said to him, okay, so you're going to have to do a horror one. He's like, I, okay, I'll, I'll try. It just, of all four, this one doesn't even come close to me for especially for the first two this one just did not this one was a groaner for me a groaner a full yeah, on this groaner. one had this one had moments of just it just wasn't justifiable it was predictable it was like yeah this is not a genre you should delve into and try to direct it just didn't work at all none of it worked for you huh? yeah no not really at all no interesting yeah. no i it wasn't my favorite but uh i thought it was I thought it was a nice attempt by uh, Kieran Johar. I uh, I applauded because I I always like even though I love Kieran Johar's wheelhouse. I love his worlds that he creates. It, it, right when it started, <laughs> it just felt like a different vibe. I was like, "Does he know he's doing a ghost story?" Because everybody <laughs> else had these like muted tones, and right when it started, it was like these beautiful colors of Kieran Johar films, and obviously it changed exactly. as, as the thing went on. Yeah, um, I thought the. Um, the acting outside, of, I thought the girl was good, but the 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 lead man was probably one of the not that he was bad or anything, but he was not definitely not the the strongest of the other actor. But also, I don't think Kieran Johar is the, in, especially in comparison to the other three directors in this, in yeah. terms of directing actors, he would definitely be the the least in terms of directing actors because I don't I don't think that's really what he does he he creates experiences and and worlds and that's his that's his wheelhouse and yeah. uh, the others are like more like nitty-gritty and they're actors directors and all that kind of stuff right so, right I uh, definitely I think had the the weakest actors like I said I, I I'm gonna at the end when I we rank these I'm gonna really have to figure out uh if this was it, uh it's definitely not my favorite for sure but I thought it was interesting um just what he was 
trying to do with it because um because i was trying to figure out why why all the family really love the grandma this much is it just indian just indian society and that the fact that obviously family is a big part of it you know your elders are a big part and they all know that she's there still why are they talking to her all normal and creepy especially the boy he's a, he's a, he's really creepy about his grandma uh, yeah. <laughs> getting up but having sex and which I thought was a fun scene. Uh, he he does love having his romance though in in everything. Have we seen the only no no because there was romance in um, my name is Khan right? Yeah, yeah, it came in Kajol, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't. No, he's a he is a as he should be. It's his wheelhouse. He's a hopeless romantic, and those well, are the things that he does best. What was his? We didn't like his short in uh, B- uh, Bombay Talkies, right? Because it was the 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 one about the gay, uh, yeah, husband, right, right, right. Yeah, we didn't we didn't enjoy that one very much. Yeah, uh, from what I remember, uh, I thought this one was way better than that one. Uh, in terms I, of, I, I don't know why they put it fourth. You um, you you think you'd want to start with the weakest? No, or or make it second. Start off, keep. Keep you need to that, start off hot. To start with Zoya, then then put in Karan Johar because you have a win. And then if that one loses you, you go, all right, 50%. Let's see what the third one is. And then you put on your up. In third or fourth? I, third, because I think if you went that one and the zombie one, I don't know if I don't know how many people would hang on, especially people who are who who like horror. Um, I would go win, eh, win, eh, a little bit stronger. Uh, I mean, Anya Rogs is by far, Zoya's is very close. They're, they're neck and neck as far as the two. Um, but I don't, they, like, you know, this, the, this one for Karen, I wasn't even like a, a for effort for me. It felt like he had to do it because it was part of the anthology and he would tell you straight up. Yeah. I, I don't make good horror films. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't. I didn't feel that way about it. But in terms of, I, I mean, it's definitely not on Anya Rog's level for sure. Um, but I, I thought, it, I thought I enjoyed it. I thought it was a nice attempt. Uh, was it the best? No. But like, I honestly, I'm just anytime I can see any kind of spooky from India, especially more current, I'm, I'm just maybe I'm just looking with hopeful eyes that they that mm. they are doing because this was in 2020. This wasn't that long ago. Yeah. Uh this was pretty I mean this is what uh, what year is it? Yeah, but there's we've seen enough stuff that yeah, it may not you may not, you know, want to say hey, you've got to measure up to international standards of horror that have been around for the past 40 years, but at the very least we've seen enough things that we've liked over the years that I can judge it by those things that are just purely Indian horror and go, yeah, this is really weak compared to those things. Mm. Yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't feel that way about this one, but um, I thought, uh, what was her name, the the lead actress in this one? Um, oh yeah, I'm seeing her face, but I'm I'm blanking on her name right now. Please pull. Thank it you, up. IMDb, because we've uh, seen her. We've we've seen her. Thank you, IMDb, times. for actually putting who, each actor and then which segment they were in. Yeah, That's actually very helpful. Uh, Zoe, 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 Karen George, uh, Meral uh, Thacker. Was that it? I believe so. Murnal Falker. I apologize. I, I mean, I know I'm. Wait, was she only in this and then Love Sonia? No, we've seen her before. Is that not who yeah, it is? We've seen her before. Why does her thing only come up as. Yeah, we've seen. Um... Oh, she was in Love Stories too. She was in Bulk. I remember the story. Uh, oh, yeah, she was in Sita Raman. Uh, and Jersey, uh, Tufan, uh, Ghost Stories, Super 30, uh, Made in Heaven. Yeah, I was say, it was a series we've seen her on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I thought she was probably the strongest part of the entire series. I mean, uh, the, uh, of the Karen Johars. Um, I thought she did a good yeah, she job. Just had, she just had um, stuff with the script at times that I could tell she was struggling to justify. <laughs> um, but yeah, overall, I, I actually really enjoyed the uh, 
the uh, anthology uh, itself uh, is, like I said, probably in this, probably some of the creepiest things we've seen in Indian cinema as a whole uh, in terms of for horror. But once again, low bar. Um, but yeah. where would you stack the anthologies themselves? What is the strongest anthologies? How would you rank it? One, two, and three. Oh, um, it like it, you you grading it overall. What do you do? I mean, this is last. Uh no, not for me. I'm sorry. This is second. Yeah, I think yeah. it 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 would probably it. I actually think this one's very strong. I know you don't like Karen Johars. I think this one's very strong. Lust Stories is probably one. Number one. Just and Lust Stories 2 is last. Uh, yo, I don't even include it. I'm talking just the ones that with these directors. Oh, okay. So Lust Stories probably one. I like Ghost Stories. Bombay Talkies, just because there was probably ones that were just like meh more in that one outside of Nawazes, obviously. So the, <laughs> if yeah. like they were all Nawazes, that one would be first. Um, Lust Stories, I don't even include because that's not even these directors. So I don't. I don't even include it. Yeah. But, um, that would probably be that, even though I think I like, I think Ghost Stories is pretty strong uh, overall in terms of they're all pretty solid for me. Mm -hmm. um, but Lust Stories, I think they were all really good for us. From what I agree. I recall, Lust, Lust right? Stories would be at the top. Uh, from what I recall. But yeah. how would you rank this one? Would it be Anurag, Zoya, Dipakar, and then uh, Kieran's? Exactly. Yeah. I think, that's, with, I think with... that's my... With Zoya being a really close second, I mean, just neck and neck with him. They're they're think, they're a nice one two punch. I think they're um, that would actually be my ranking as well uh, for this one. Anya Rogs was just so damn unique and uh, didn't surprise me because so much of what he does with his dramas are dark and twisted. So I just I would love to see him do more horror horror. There's apparently a older anthology that is horror from 2003 from Bollywood. Really? Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's anthology. It's short. Uh, um. Yeah, I I believe that I believe it's a short, uh, a bunch of shorts. Um, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four writers here. Um, it's called Dharna Manahai. From 2003. Let me just read off some names on here for you. Okay. Saif, Bomanarani, Nana Petikur, uh, uh, sorry, uh, there were, there were others and, okay, that's not it. There were other people in this. Why do, why do I want to say I saw Big B in it? Um, uh, I can't, because people have been sending it to me. Um, but yeah, you guys let us know if that, that would be one that's also worth a watch. That's one that, um, a few people have told me about, but, um, overall, I'm very happy obviously with, uh, with watching this and saving it for spooky month in particular. Yeah. I'm glad we saved it for spooky month. Uh, let us know what the next spooky film we should be. Uh, we should, we should be a uh, spooky film. We should watch is let us know down in the comments below, upvote it so I can see it so I can know what you guys want to watch. And let us know how, what you thought about ghost stories and how what your ranking of each uh, short would be. And please, Bollywood and Indian cinema as a whole, make more horrors. Agreed. Agreed.